Listen, I know I said I'd be on time. On time with a kid is two minutes late, Apollo. He's muted. Wait, I was muted. <laughs> yeah, I muted. I was muted. I, I did the perfect segue. I said, I know I said I'd be on time, but on time with a kid is uh, two minutes late. Oh, uh, well, it's only one minute. It's fine. You, <laughs> you might want to get your, your clocks checked, brother. Holy the, cow. Uh, it says 11.01. Let me check my phone. 11.02. Why is my computer one minute behind it? Holy cow. You know what that... Uh, let me do what Chad does. Oh, your system clock's off? Oh, probably your motherboard uh, is and about the to die. Card and the sound card yep. and the, 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 the case as well, probably. Yeah, fractured. the whole thing's pretty much gone. Okay. So this is season two of Fall Guys again. Yeah, it's like except it's like season like nine, but we're just going to call it two because... Yeah. Why not? Epic Games Season 2. Epic Games. It's like how Thor Ragnarok is actually the first Thor movie, because the first yeah, yeah, two yeah. don't count, because they or the last one also no, yeah, doesn't so it's, it's, count it's too much. It's just Thor, actually, is, is that one. There's just the one. Have you seen Thor Ragnarok yet? Uh, no, everyone said I've it not. wasn't good. I, I want to see it because I think, uh, well, it's on Disney Plus now, for one. But also, Christian Bale plays, he's just like a weird guy, right? And I love when movies let good actors just be weird guys. Just weird little dudes. It look, you know, he's like a little skinny, pale guy with sharp teeth. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you mean Love and Thunder. So, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Love and Thunder. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When, I mean, Marvel's not doing too hot, honestly. No, I I just can't bring they're myself kinda, to watch She Hulk. I kind of miss it. Oh, that that that's it's a TV show, right? Uh, it's a TV show, yeah. I already checked out of the TV shows when they did the guy with the bow, and I was like, ah. Mm, yeah, dude, I would say I the same need, thing. I who still need who to cares see that. about a Hawkeye show? You know? Yeah. I mean, I like the actor, but I just don't. You're a big Jeremy Renner for... guy. Not big. Did you have like his him. app? Did you get his app when it was still running? Oh, wait, is that, he was the one with the app? Okay, I don't like him anymore. I think he's okay. Well, I don't know. I think he said some stuff. Whatever. I like him. Oh, no. Cool haircut. <laughs> every every actor said some <laughs> stuff. Come on. <laughs> some stuff may be a bit worse than other stuff. Did you, by the way, I didn't know this, so where I was reminded of it recently. Did you know that um, Mark Wahlberg was interviewed by Men's Journal, um, Men's Journal of Fitness, and they asked him about 9-11 because he was supposed to be on the plane, but he wasn't. And then he said... You can bet if I was on that plane with my kids, uh, it wouldn't have gone down like that. The exact quote is actually something like, I would have looked around the first class cabin and next thing you know, I would have gotten on the intercom, I would have gotten on the PA and said, don't worry about that guys, we're gonna land somewhere safely. Oh, and then they would have crashed into the building. Because he doesn't know how to fly an airplane. Yeah. Presumably. Well, no, yeah. just because, well, what does he think he's getting the he's getting the gun out of his hand? Like, what does he think is gonna happen? That's what he thinks is gonna happen. Is at he least throw his kid at him. Like, I don't <laughs> understand. I just like it's such an insult to the people who actually like were on the plane, right? That it's like they just didn't want it bad enough. Exactly. It's 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 the, maybe the most absurd thing I've heard an actor say in the last two days. Unlike all the victims, like um, Mark Wahlberg, he just wants it more. Yeah. He's, he's willing to get into those difficult battles in the corner. He's willing to he's, get pucks in deep and, you know, just hustle a little harder. I got to tell you, of, by the way. Oh, so yeah, nice segue, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, speaking of uh, famous people saying absolutely ridiculous things, I see what Kyrie Irving was up to last night. I did not. <laughs> he's just retweeting. I don't know. I, th I think he posted on Instagram just an entire video of Alex Jones oh, ranting. No. And was like, this guy was right, man. He was right. Talk about, like, buying low. What are you doing? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> maybe the worst time. He, he <laughs> didn't, like, uh, like, there's no open information, or there's no closed information on this one. It's like, no. the, the jury is in. What the fuck? Literally. Uh, cosmic, games. Uh, cosmic Highway. I just, like, it's amazing to me, and I feel like we've said this anecdote maybe 600 times now, how... So ridiculously easy it would be to be very rich and just shut and up, just and just shut up, yeah, yeah and, and just, just be quiet, yeah, be an idiot. Like it's it's incredibly easy. I'm like not rich and I I can do it too. Like you just don't you don't say stupid stuff. If I was a professional basketball player and I had bad opinions, I would simply be quiet. I'm sorry, you're using a keyboard? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm a keyboard guy now. I use keyboard for every. I I played a Dark Souls inspired character action game. I use my keyboard for it. That is 
Uh, the fact that you're playing Fall Guys, with, no wonder you went to your Mind Palace that one game. <laughs> well, that was when I was still using a controller, so there's no there's no excuse, mister. I am in last year, though. <laughs> Why did you switch? It's just such a better game on a my controller. Just controller. I, I'm done with controllers, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. And then everyone goes, hey, why don't you, don't you have a PS5? Why don't you just use your PS5 controller? So I played the PS5 controller. It doesn't work because it's fucking like USB-C 6.0. I need USB uh, micro 2.6 or something like that. Like, we're, we're in a, a dark age of technological plug-and-play compatibility. And then people say, oh, just use the Bluetooth. And I use the Bluetooth and the input delay is, like, horrendous. And people go, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you of course. You got a wired wait. controller. I'm done buying shit. I'm, it's oh, a, really? Yeah, I'm done with it. It's, it's Steve, over. Don't you have like 7,000 viewers? <laughs> a act like you don't have 7,000 viewers to keep 7,000 viewers. Seen well, I don't know. Have you watched any big streamer? Um, kind of. I don't really want to talk about it though, because if I was uh, a successful streamer and I had bad taste, I would just shut up. Mm, that's fair. You don't want to comment on the great uh, Mystic XQC drama of 2022? I didn't really that's see... I, I didn't see too much of that. I um, didn't either. Fortunately. Um, I see the headlines and I just go, oh, okay. I guess it is Thursday. Occasionally I'll, I'll pop in to see how my favorite gambling streamers are doing, but that's mostly <laughs> just to... Because it see kind of... They've lost? Yes, it, they, and not even in like a negative way, like, ha ha, look how much money you've lost, but just in the way to constantly like remind myself how uh, dangerous of a vice it is. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you let it Sorry. get crazy yeah. like it's 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 it, it'll boggle your mind but anyway i d i only say good opinions like um yeah have you ever watched moana mm, yeah it's the the crab i i want to send i'm gonna become a disney um plus diamond member I, I almost dot added disney and said thank you for making the moana soundtrack it's actually <laughs> like i i have to listen to so much disney stuff with my with my ch child um, oh, but and, you like the, the and my wife, <laughs> to be yeah, honest. But <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like that's the thing is like you know I I you just gotta like mentally plug my ears during the um, the Little Mermaid soundtrack and stuff like that. It's not bad. I'm just like over it. I've been hearing it for 30 years. But man, the see Moana the soundtrack da, 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 goes hard. Da, 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 that, see, that that's one? that's not my favorite. Oh, do you like the away away? No. I that's not my favorite. Is it a is it, you're welcome? Yes, that that uh, that, that goes hard the and heavily my, auto tuned. You're welcome. Yes, it I, obviously that is not the rocks like naked voice. No, which no, is no, fine. No. But uh, you're welcome goes insane, uh, and my daughter loves it. And uh, she she likes shiny, but I think because Jermaine Clement has a New Zealand accent. <laughs> she can't understand the, the words, so all she says when Shiny comes on is, That's Shiny! Ah, she's uh, got she, it. That's probably the whole song, honestly. Uh, she doesn't know the lyrics, though. Except, uh, she doesn't even sing the Shiny part, but still. <laughs> shoo! I'm on Shoo! Got you, man. Whoa, this is Xenomorph in this game? Don't you! I'll get you! Uh, Let's go. You, that's li that's literally canon too. That's how the Xenomorph <laughs> dies true. in every movie. He does just fall. Well, Me watching the, the Alien Eleven, and I see them go to an airlock with the the Xenomorph in pursuit. I know where this shit's going. Oh, Let they can't shoot it. Like they try shooting it, and it just nothing happens. You well, know? it's got a very hard carapace, and also I don't know if you know this, but its blood is acid. Yeah, yeah. Why does one in the future just like have regular guns? Where are the cool new guns, like lasers and stuff, you know? I think it's, it's part of the, the appeal of the Alien franchise, is that it's the future, but everything, like, sucks ass. Like, instead of the future being, like, all shiny and chrome, it's more like a rusted old, like, submarine right. from World War II. But it's really hard to envision a future where we've mastered space travel, you know, and can't make, you know, like, we're, we're doing good on guns already. Like, That's true. It's probably one of the things we're it. doing the best at. Yeah, <laughs> like, you think they'd, I don't know, have, like, the, the spike launcher from Halo or something. Like, I feel like, or the steak launcher? That thing would deal with, a, with an alien pretty well. Yeah, prob but then if you consider that their blood is acid. Yeah, but then just, like, be a, a far away when you hit the trigger. You what also need this? you need something you can shoot uh, when they're in the damn vents too. You've lost oh. your mind. What are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. You are dead. I thought <laughs> I didn't realize we were on a moving platform, man. I just went. I thought we were going. This guy, he, he's he's lost his mind. I don't know what he was thinking about on that one. He was trying to set a world record. 
It's all right. We could probably qualify. <laughs> Are we moving or what's? Oh, there it is. There you go. That's a cool course. How would you know? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Dude, they're grabbing like it's jump showdown. Oh! Dude, all you have to do is finish and we're good. Everyone's yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Yeah, literally everyone. Wait, there's only four people left alive on the platform? He's trying to kill you. He is trying to kill me. Watch out for that hammer. It's coming for you, man. Jesus. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> okay, I think you overthought that one a little bit. but you're I, did, I, I was trying to see from his eyes where the Roomba was going. <laughs> Joe, Joe, don't do it. I think you got a fine line here. Nice. Dude, imagine way more people alive here, and then you just get hexagoned. You're in the back, you just die. For real, yeah. This is a hell of a lobby right here. Yeah. Oh, no! I'm Where'd okay. Where did you think you were going? I don't oh, know. No. I thought maybe the thing was like a... I thought it was a big boy, maybe. Hello, honey. There's only going to be three teams in. Yo, look at the drip. Some Ketchikan Alaska sweatshirt drip. Hi, honey. Hmm. Can you say hi, Apollo? She doesn't know you. That's fine. I understand. Not a lot of people do. That is a, it's a fantastic sweatshirt. Be careful, though. The socks that we bought at that same place, they're already starting to tear for me. Bro, oh, we gotta paint no. the image. We got this. We're so smart. This is this is this is a game that ruins children, and Apollo, we're not I, children. I can't do this. This is not. This, this, this doesn't. Is fine. This doesn't play to my strengths. No, no, no. We got this. We got this. We oh, dude, easy. Uh, right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Are you helping? Yeah. One, two, three. Right there. And then just one. Let's go. Oh, so actually... All right. Uh, I got. I got. Not these. Not these. <laughs> Not this one. I still got it. It's uh, this one. And then this, this, and then this, this. No, I think we're, I, was, I was one down. I got to go up this. Hey, this, uh, honey, can this. you turn my monitor back on, please? Wait. You got it. Oh, no, we're one up, one up. Everything is going to be oh, up okay. one. Okay. Nice. It's... Wait. Oh, no, this one. Right here, I got it. No, wait. No. Yeah, it's this one. Oh god, okay, no, we are bad at this. No, it is this. Okay, there. 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 Okay, we're good. Okay. That one was really hard. Um, um it's okay. Oh, okay. My monitor was off for like almost that whole thing, so it puts us at a bit of a disadvantage. Uh Bye honey. That one, you got it, you got it, you got it. I think one more tile on yours. One more tile, Ryan. Ryan. No, what are you no, talking no, about like, one more tile on mine? No, what are you talking down, about? Down. That one, that one. This, this one. Oh, one more tile on mine. What are you, damn, what are you talking about? We're good. <laughs> We're in trouble, man. We are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, two there. And then up here. And then these two. And then these. And then this, and then that, and then... Oh, this one right here? Yeah, and then that one needs to go away, the one on the, the up there. There's one that so needs to go true. away, right? So true, I understand, no, 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 yeah. This, yeah, that one, and then, and then that one, and then this one. Okay, okay. we qualified. See, we're so, I told you, we're not children, right? <laughs> we made it. If you lost to us in that one, you gotta, like, um, uninstall the game. I had, I had a child in my room, and uh, like a toddler, and my monitor was off. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but that's honestly, true. you know what might have been okay is that at least I had the good sense when my monitor was off to uh, not, not run help. around. Yes, to not help. Tiptoe Tip finale. Finale. As long oh. as we send it in different directions, it's like I'll handle the left, you handle the right. All right. What do you think that button does though? Uh, I don't know. Nothing on mine. Oh, okay. Mine is like, uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. And then the right, uh, oh, no, no, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I love what you got going on there. Uh, I've, I've fallen. Back. I've also fallen off because I have no patience. Beautiful. Okay, I got right side. I got one here. All right, all right. Understood. I don't got one there. But yeah, uh, underneath the one on the right. I gotta have patience, man. <laughs> I gotta have some patience. Oh, fuck. I just ran off, yeah. 
Oh, he got lucky. He found it on the other, next one. Right here, probably. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. Nice. Uh, and then you, you see the hole I made. You're so smart. Far, You're so smart. Far left, far left. You're so fucking smart. It's crazy. You just gotta wait for the staircase. They're coming. Ooh. First game we win, no problem. Oh my god, dude, monitor off the hard mode. <laughs> Honestly, like was we were insanely ass. <laughs> yeah, we did really bad. Almost every single game there was uh, <laughs> what we would call an epic fail. I fell off instantly on the the moving one. Holy cow. Oh. I love playing games like the day they come out. Uh, dude, yes. I don't know if you're in the same boat, but I think in general, I'm better than average when I try things for the like the first time, and then same. slowly um, the normies catch up to, and then extremely pass. <laughs> yep, yep. Sometimes I'm like I reach a minimum level of competence early, and I'm like, okay, it's time to stop like training uh, that muscle. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking at people my own age, and I'm like, when did we all learn how to parallel park so well? Dude, I still can't parallel park. Like I can do it, but I can't do it well. I, uh, I've started doing it better because I have to do it more um, because I have to parallel park in front of the daycare. Mm, yeah, I had to do some parallel parking visiting the city here and uh, uh, I definitely scratched the shit out of the side of my car. I hate that. But it's like down underneath, no one can really see it, but it was still like, ah, I deserve that. Here, here's some thoughts for you. Scratching a car. I'm not getting that fixed. Oh yeah, no, no I mean, cares? like I said, it was literally at the very bottom. Like you'd have to be looking for it to see it. I, I think that's something that they, like uh, auto body shops tell you like, oh, you got, oh, whoa, you haven't gotten that scuff buffed out yet? I'm not paying you like 800 bucks to fix a yeah. little. Car's not even worth 800 bucks. Well, oh, then that case, you definitely shouldn't fix it. But <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, when we got our car, we drove the packs like literally two weeks later, parked it in a tight parking garage, was totally fine, came back and had uh, like a scratch right on a mm. driver's side door handle, and it's a white yeah. car. So, we, and at that point, I, I think it was kind of nice because it just meant that I didn't have to care that much anymore. Yeah. I was like, well, we already got like one little scuff here, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I still probably wouldn't even fix uh... it, honestly. Oh, yeah, probably not. I just punched my own ticket. <laughs> my, <Hey, laughs> yeah, bringing that one back. Okay, okay. I bought like a little weed eater because I don't have a big yard. I don't need a lawnmower. Right. Uh, weed and, eater? Uh, Why don't you just uh, uh, invite Justin over to your house? Oh, wait. Know her. He's a weed smoker. <laughs> that was, that I'm was sorry. Tough. I shouldn't have character assassinated Justin like that. I don't know if he smokes yeah. weed. <laughs> By the way, I, I people are saying like, oh, when the kids get home from school, you should like, you'll be getting your ass kicked. The kids don't go to school anymore. I don't know if you turn on the damn news. So the kids didn't even start start school till Labor Day. Let me let me give because I got all the other parents at daycare, especially with older kids who are actually in school, have been complaining about it for like a week. Okay, you wait three months, well, your kids are on summer vacation. Okay, they go back to school the Tuesday. That's right after Labor Day. Um, then the Queen has the audacity to die. So they, you, you get a, a, a holiday where the teachers are the only people on earth that get the day, or the only people in British Columbia that get the day off next Monday. Everybody else has to go to work, including the parents with kids. Then there's a, a PD day, which is like a, the teachers that give the kids a day off so they have a day to like lesson plan and stuff like that. Three days later on that Friday, and then there's a, P day, a PD day the Friday after that. What the hell, They said man? they're going to school for like three days in September. That's messed up, dude. <laughs> who's who's want, supposed to keep schedule. the economy going? Nice. Right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, teachers don't want to work these days. Yeah, it's messed up, dude. Yeah, kids don't even have time in America to play video games anymore, man. They got they got like extra homework. They got to like take their body armor off when they go home from school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First, first sentence, I was like, is this um, a normal <laughs> sentence or is this one of the sentences where it starts normal and then it hard pivots at the end? And it was uh, thankfully the second one. Yeah, that's a good, that's my favorite kind of joke. Our daycare provider is working on the Queen's funeral, which is like, I mean, what? we don't live in the UK. Oh, working because on we're, that yes. day. No, no, okay. she's not like doing the flowers or whatever. She's, <laughs> but she keeps bringing it up to me in a way like, I don't know 
how to react to it because she keeps saying stuff like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna work on the Queen's funeral day because I don't think it's really fair to you guys that like with such little notice, you would have to find other childcare for that day if you have to go to work. And I just keep being like, oh, thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate that. But she keeps bringing it up. And I don't I mean, know. No, just, she's like, like at her house with like a bunch of pictures of King Charles going, yes, finally. <laughs> My yes. guy. <laughs> Charles, years. Charles stands, stay winning. Charles army, who's, who's up? But I, you know, I'm very hypocritical because I think I'm going to take Monday off. Oh, and is the, that the Queen's well, funeral? It is, but oh, I'm, you're not going to live that down. The, I'm going to take it off um, because it's sort of a holiday, but the daycare is open. So me and my wife can have like a like a date afternoon, which doesn't come. Last time we had one of those was Remembrance Day, which was November 11th last year. We went and we saw an 11 a.m. showing of Dune. Ooh, good movie. It, it was the first time I had sat down and watched a movie since my child was born, and it, it actually felt like a nine-hour-long movie. <laughs> I really should have started by watching something a little bit breezier, but I had a great time nonetheless. It's like, you know when you like you're... Before? Well, oh, like 20 times. Oh, but dude. I would say you... on average, like two times a month, I accidentally... Did you out X the out the thing that was like, don't show this again, which checks men, make sure you get the light. Like, it's like, are you sure this is the right answer? Can I tell you something that'll fuck with you? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> I did not turn doing? that off. Instead, I just, I am like, don't talk to me like I'm stupid and I just click through it as fast as possible. <laughs> that one, that saved me from a wrong answer once. Look here at my, at my twitch.tv, we have, you know, honor and we never pick the wrong option, okay? You yeah, throw but you also to make sure I mean, those gamblers pay out. How don't have do any you, good predictions. I was just yeah, gonna say, yeah. how often do you run the casino? Like once a week? Well, like once a day when someone redeems the D10 prediction. To roll, yeah, roll a dice or name a woman. I ran out of women. That's a, a Children of Men 2006. I guess it didn't oh, really yeah, run yeah, out literally. of Didn't really ran, run out of women. Yeah, that doesn't make sense though. They did run they out, out of Julianne Moore though, about halfway through. They ran through. out of babies. They ran out of babies, yeah. You know what movie kind of goes hard? You're See, not, not a... gonna guess this, by the way. <laughs> but you know what movie kind of goes hard? What? I would like you to take one guess at a movie that would surprise you. Just, just try something out of left field. Angels in the outfield. <laughs> okay. You know, I think that's because I said field. You went with that yep. one, and that's fine. I kind of primed you accidentally. The answer is <clears throat> Hellboy 2: The Golden Army. Oh, I've seen that movie. Them, I saw it's it. Not in, bad. I saw it in theaters when it came out, uh, and was like, I don't know. I was like, this is okay. And then I watched it again over the last like two or three nights, and I was like, wait a minute, this movie's actually like really good. All the the world building stuff. Uh, where they're just like, they don't explain anything at all. They're just like, here's a, a, a goblin with uh, the bottom half of his body is just a cart. Here's uh, an angel of death whose face is like a mushroom. Wasn't it the Pan's Labyrinth guy who made that movie? Yeah, yeah, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, he makes good movies. He does make good movies. And also, um, what's that one? Um, you know which one I'm talking about, Chad. Crimson something. You know which one I'm talking about, Chad. You know which one I'm talking about this. <laughs> you lived. Not Crimson Tide. Crimson Peak? Does that sound right? Mm. Crimson Peak is actually Pog. Okay, maybe I'm not base. The Hex has come oh, back, yeah. by the way. I got some intel for you. Uh... I've been trying to kill this little green I'm man. Dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No. He, he stun locked me. It's fine. I never lose. It's a heat-seeking bonkers, man. I love it. I love it! Let's go! <laughs> Goodbye, Joe! <laughs> Second place. That's good. I was like, that's a good movie. You know, when Hellboy goes into uh, the troll market, and there's, yeah. a, uh, there's a troll that's breastfeeding, and then he punches the troll husband so hard he lands in a vat of soup and, like, burns to death. Then he keeps punching the mom in the face while she's still breastfeeding, and then eventually she gives up the information that Hellboy wants, and Hellboy pats the kid on the head and says, Sorry, kiddo. And he says, 
I'm not a baby. I'm a tumor. And then he goes back to sucking on the teeth. I was like, this movie goes hard, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why the fuck are we playing Jinx? <laughs> oh, you just unlocked that scene from my brain. I totally forgot about it. I was laughing. This is crazy, dude. They really they went oh, off. Why are, why are they so fast? The conveyors are so fast. Suck me. Oh, baby. Whoa. I'm on the damn tread. Dude, I, I I don't even know where I am anymore. I think I might be in like oh, third. Oh, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you get a lot of speed. Wait, I'm supposed to launch? I'm am with I you. To launch? I'm with you, dude. I'm up here in, in the oh, stratosphere. Oh. Okay, hey. no, I won't be launching. Oh, okay, I, I qualified. Oh, it launched me and I just, I just fell over. <laughs> Jeez, I'm glad I didn't have to do this part. Looks like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. That was interesting. Ten times Fall Guys Season 2 understood the assignment. Does he know? Does he know what he's cooking? I tried that on my, on my wife yesterday. She did not find that humorous. I... <laughs> I, I said, what are we doing for dinner tonight? And she said, I'll cook. And I said, does she know what she's cooking? And she just looked at me like I was <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Without the picture, it doesn't really like Yeah, it. yeah. And I, in my head, I was like, ah, she probably doesn't know what she's cooking. Yeah, she looked at me like, does he know what he's smoking? <laughs> what do you think is worse for you? Smoking meats or smoking cigarettes? <laughs> well, so like... Yeah. What's the joke? I don't know. They, that smoking has two different meanings, I guess, kind of. Yeah, it is a word that means two different things. I mean, three different things. You can smoke someone. Can you imagine going over to somebody's house and they're like, I built a homemade smoker, and then you went into the shack and it was just a bunch of cigarettes hanging upside down, <laughs> burning away? <laughs> uh, you know, I'd have some questions. They're like, oh, this... This this bad boy's been in here for sixty days. <laughs> He's slow and slow. Look at this. You can run like three at once. Oh, oh man, that could be good. Oh. See, Dad, you sometimes you gotta dig through the weeds a little bit to get to the the, the El Dorado. Mm -hmm. oh. I hate weeds. They just like are. Yeah. They grow faster, better, stronger. Like they listen to Daft Punk than all the other grass. Would your HOA be mad if you just let the weeds run buck wild? Yes, yeah, they've already been mad at me one. Because I was like, you know, what you get to do now, like back in the day you couldn't be lazy about it, but now you can just say lawns are like environmentally toxic and I want to create like an actual, like some biodiversity, but if you got an HOA, you know, they just make your life a living hell. Yeah, they kick you out. Yeah, yeah, that's, it, I would say not worth. What, yeah, what yeah. can the HOA even do if you don't follow the rules? Like they- Apparently they, they can literally like kick they, you out. They force you to house. sell like, or because they can't know. evict you from your own house. That doesn't sound- I think they can legit evict you. That doesn't sound legally binding. I don't know. I know they have a lot of power. Oh, they can put a lean on your house. That's what it is. Lean. On your house, I yeah, yeah, is um, yeah. I know <laughs> we messed up. <laughs> they came over with like a big hammer or something like that, and just put it at an angle. <laughs> We're putting the lean on your house. Come on! <laughs> no, I can only handle two or three of these, man. <laughs> Once the degree gets over ninety-four, man, I start tipping. Uh, you're like, oh shit! I've got to keep hitting my head on the left side of the door jam. But like what what is I don't know what a lien is I guess I thought it was that's like a you have to pay them and Then the lien comes off. I thought it was like a, a penalty or something. I don't know My stepdad <laughs> okay. told me like two weeks ago, and I forgot well like two months ago It's better not to find out I guess it's a fine attached to the sale of the house Oh, so like when you sell your house they would be like you didn't mow your lawn give us a hundred thousand dollars Yeah, pretty much I guess that's messed that up seems Fair. What if you die before you move? Get owned. Uh, I don't know, dude. I just, that's up to the government then at that point. You'll, I mean, you, you probably already realized. Like, we're, we're not in a traditional, like, HOA thing, but we're governed by something called a strata council, which sounds way cooler, but it's it equally sounds way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we had this. I, I told myself, like, when we moved, I was like, I'm going to get on the Strata Council because the reputation that they have is that only, like, retired busybodies who care about uh, nothing except uh, the dumbest shit on the planet get involved. So, I, like, I'm going to be the change that I want to see in the world. Then they had elections for that shit, and I was like, I don't have time for this. Are you crazy? So now, like, once a week, I get an email that's like, someone's dog took a piss in my grass. And then we got to be like, no, I don't think we should... DNA test the piss to see who's the <laughs> DNA test every dog in the building so we have like an array of dog piss that we can test the piss against to see whose dog pissed in your grass. That is absurd. Sorry, I just like I can't, can't get over being a stratus counselor. Strata counselor? Something. Yeah, strata counselor. It's just a sick title for an incredibly lame job. <laughs> yes, and it, it does not pay for the record. Like it obviously. Oh, it pays emotionally. Well, maybe. <laughs> Nothing feels better to a, you know, 65 year old uh, individual than ruining someone's day. I all, my, my other favorite thing is like, we, like we have a parking garage uh -huh. and there's all these signs up like on the garage and in our elevators and stuff like that. That's like, okay, when you pull into the garage, you have to like wait in your car for the garage door to come back down so people don't sneak in behind you, right? Otherwise, mm -hmm. supposedly you could get a $200 fine, though I'd love to see them try. <laughs> um, my my question has always been, okay, so I'm in my car waiting for the garage door to come down. Some dude just comes in under the garage door. What am I supposed to do? Like hit him with my car? I do, like yeah, dude. like I just me being there neighbor. doesn't do, doesn't stop people from getting into the garage. If somebody if like walks under the garage door, I'm not gonna be like, hey, you stop. I'm just gonna be like, you know, well, well hey, played. You're in the car, just run into a man, like. No, I'm just gonna let him steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> this is not my. Yeah, you're. I mean, I guess it's not gonna be your shit. Well, it might be, but like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I don't. I'd, I'd rather lose my shit than like you know get into a fight with the. I, I don't know. He might even live there. I did. Um, I did stop someone from coming into our building once though, because you're not supposed to hold the door for anybody. And like, we opened the door. I opened it like just wide enough for me to get through, and then he put his foot in the door to try to keep it open so it wouldn't relock. And uh, I, and then I said, I'm sorry, I can't let you in. And he said, I just forgot my key. And I said, it, if you just forgot your key, like you would understand why we can't let you in. Cause the, you know, people get robbed and oh. stuff like that. And then he, I swear to you, he said, bro, really? And I said, I'm sorry. And then I just closed the door. Oh. And Dude, then- you know, you know he just forgot his key when he said, bro, really? <laughs> No, because then he walked away, and I've never oh. seen him again. So I don't know oh, if I, I you he, saved someone's life. Hero, maybe. Maybe. What if he was just trying to find his great favorite streamer, Northern Line, and didn't know what you look like? <laughs> well, then that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that he, is. A... Now he knows where I live, but sorry, he didn't disappear. He went in a different direction. He wasn't like a ghost. I also had that happen once, like. Um, I was dropping my kid off at daycare. Like, you're, again, you're not supposed to leave like any door open here because, I mean, you're just asking for trouble. So mm -hmm. I was walking out and uh, there was somebody waiting outside of the building and I closed the door basically like in their face when I left the building and they said, oh, I'm with the movers. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't like- I'm dead. I don't, I don't live here. I don't like work here. I don't know what what you mean by you're with the movers. I said, I'm sorry, I can't hold the door open. And they said, no, it's okay. And then I had to be like, I'm sorry, I can't do this. And I just walked away. And they, she looked very upset. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's not impolite. It's like I, I just dropped my toddler off at, at daycare. I can't just uh, ignore the, the safety precautions. You see that shit? You see that shit? Yeah. You see that tomahawk grab? Remember, I'm dead. You gotta win. This, as long as this Roomba doesn't look at me, we got no problem, man. Yeah. So either you've uh, saved the lives and property of your other tenants, or you have severely inconvenienced your other tenants twice. Well, they should remember their keys. I mean, true, like... true. I mean, no, no, I agree. How, how uh, do you forget your keys? Like, that's the first thing you get when you leave your house. Is you your gotta keys. do the, you gotta do the wallet tap, man. Like, wallet, keys, phone. Literally, this like. It's so easy. <gasps> nice try. You think I wasn't ready for that? You think I don't drive in Vancouver? You think I wasn't ready for a signalless lane change at the last second? <laughs> I don't think I've ever forgotten my wallet, keys, or phone because I'm so paranoid about forgetting those exact things. Yeah, that's I. I, I mean, we've talked about it before. I'm sure I do the tap about every five minutes, especially when I'm out of the house. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and that way, if I've missed something, I know that I only have a five minute window to go back and get it. It's not right. like I've, I've, at the end of the day, I'm like, oh no, I lost my wallet. I've been 10 places today, I'm fucked. You gotta, you gotta tap that constantly. I, do you know the kind of people that just forget their phone and wallet every other day? And it's just like, how does this keep happening? Yes. Like if I ever lost <laughs> any of those things once, I would, I would lose my damn, I would, I would never lose them again. I had a great also, moment of, uh, yeah, I, I'm not happy about this. I had a great moment of schadenfreude when we first got smartphones. Like I got in on my parents' family plan. Yeah, I forgot what I was. Oh, we got, I got in on my mom's family plan when we bought smartphones in like 2012. Mm -hmm. Dude at the phone store said, do you want insurance? She said, let's get one on my husband's and one on my son's, but I don't need it. Guess who lost oh, their fucking uh -huh. phone like two <laughs> weeks later? No offense, mom. I don't know if recorded YouTube videos. That, that is crazy, right? Hey, let's record PUBG from like 8 p.m. till 11 p.m. Ugh. One more, I mean, one more. Just, just one more. No, it's just slash marker, dude. And, uh, and nothing of value was lost. No. There was someone made me laugh, though. They, they linked me to, um, well, they, they just tweeted it, but they added me. It was, um, by the way, Holy Trinity right here. Look at yeah, this. look at this. One, two, three. It was, uh, here's the top comment on NL's video where the economy was not mentioned a single time. And the comment was like, uh, my wife and I are 58 years old and with the increasing cost of living, our savings are be er being eroded. I feel for anybody that has to retire in the next 40 years, uh, you work, you give up your life just to have it stolen away from you by the powers that be. And I'm like, this is like super auto pets. Um, the donkey is goaded this weekly, top comment, where I didn't talk about the economy at all. I didn't talk about anything related to any financial matters. I was just like, oh, oh another vulture team. Arr. I do love that uh, I'll get, like, I don't I upload a YouTube video in months, but I'll uh, I'll get a notification on my phone for, like, a comment on, a, on like, an Among Us video from, like, two years ago. And they'd be like, man, I really didn't like when this person said that they weren't the imposter. Like, I can't believe they didn't like it. It's like, dude, look at the date, let, man. Let it go. Let, let it go. Uh, it's bad enough when someone does that live, dude. Oh, but yeah. Like... I can imagine. I'm really impressed with Among Us chat, though. Like, they're way more socially perceptive, ironically, than, uh, than I am. They'll be like, oh, really? Well, how is it possible that Chilled is saying that he's not sus when he walked into and out of admin two times but didn't do card swipe? I'm like, how the fuck well, see, did you notice that? It's called having two streams up at once and pretending. Uh, oh, <laughs> they're pretend posting. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't know how many people in chat try to pretend how smart they are and they just have two streams up. Really? Like oh, dude, it's, it's hilarious. I honestly never thought... I mean, oh, I would. I now. I, now that you bring it up to me, it makes sense that yeah. people would do that. But <laughs> you're never gonna look smart for trying to guess someone in an Among Us game chat. You know, you don't even look smart when you get it right in an Among Us game that you're playing. That's true. You know, I, when I played Among Us, I was not very good at it. That's a given. But there were also <laughs> sometimes, and I, I don't know. You, maybe you don't want to. You want to plead the Fifth Amendment. There's sometimes someone is really bad at being the imposter. So when mm -hmm. you go to that first meeting, you have to. Um, be like, you know that they're the imposter, but for the round to have some entertainment value, you have to be like, yep. I don't know, actually, I'm gonna accuse someone I know is safe just to spice it up a little bit. Yes, that happens every game. It's professional wrestling tech. Yep. It's kayfabe. And you, know, you don't normally play with the people who don't understand that. That makes sense. It's very not fun. I can imagine. No, dude, I saw you. Dude, dude. Yeah, okay. I, I think one of my favorite Among Us videos, though, since we're casually actually Don't. talking about Among Us without memeing, um, is uh, is the one where I played with you guys on the NLSS. That was like my final stream as a childless man, and <laughs> and you you took that from me. <laughs> you were not happy with me. I was farmed for YouTube content. Yeah. I was married. Oh no, Choi! But then again, I'm not interested in anything these days, so. Yeah, you should start, um, I don't know. Being interested? Well, I guess it's not that easy. You should just uh, do what I do and uh, take a, you don't have to have a baby. You could just like buy a stroller and then take the stroller <laughs> out for a walk. Uh... I swear to God, there was a mother doing that uh, the other day when I went to get the mail. 
She was just strolling a stroller. You know what? There's no baby in it. Let me tell you from the, the father's perspective, you know what's going on there. Her baby is somewhere else, maybe a daycare, uh, maybe a grandma's house. She is walking to pick up the baby, at which point she will need the stroller to take the baby home. Nah, dude. There's, I just, I know the, 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 unless, unless, I, unless the baby is staying at a friend's house, that could have been the only way, because she wasn't going out of the neighborhood. That, I live in a neighborhood, man, not a city. You, you don't walk to the daycare. You drive. Mm, okay, that's fair. I get the other thing that that could happen is that she's crazy. <laughs> maybe, or that the baby was really small and the stroller really deep. Yes, so it wasn't like I was like you know. Maybe it was born 39 weeks premature, so there was just like four <laughs> cells strapped in the in the bassinet. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess in some places there's um, they, people do daycares like in their home. You know, they'll have like. That's what uh, I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, she might have dropped her baby off at daycare. Maybe there's like someone in your neighborhood that does. Uh, that does at home daycare and then she's walking into the stroller home. Sometimes I would honestly just take the stroller to the grocery store because it's like you're bringing your own cart and you can actually take the cart home with you. But then I stopped doing it because I got annoyed because like every third person over the age of 60 looks at you and goes, hey, just so you know, there's no baby in there. And you got to go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Kind of power up like Goku. Good one. What? <laughs> Oh, and shit yeah, is, like, people, I don't know if this is a new thing or if I'm just becoming more sensitive to it. People have just been talking to me a lot in public. Like there was the guy who told me, um, hey, just so you know, you should put napkins on your baby so she doesn't get a sunburn. Like that was a wild one. Then That's... yesterday I was crossing the street and there was a, an ambulance driving in the other direction. A guy on a bike pulled up next to me and said, imagine being hit by the bus. Ah, 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 and I just went, yeah, haha, and like a blog Fucking idiot. I was like, what What the hell's going on, man? And I tell you, I'm sure I told you about when I was walking the baby in the stroller and then a dude with a stroller, but there was no baby. It was just full of bags and cans and stuff. Went, oh, you got the Vista, huh? I thought we had the same buggy, but I guess you you didn't uh, get the cruise. You weren't expecting to have a second child. I was like, I don't know who the fuck you are. Why are you so familiar with me right off the bat? <laughs> everyone's yeah, everyone's talking like they're a, a GTA Five NPC or something like that. I'm just minding my own business. Well, it's the second you have a baby, they consider you to be like you know a real individual. Oh, uh, dude, it's like the Call of Duty dead chat, dude. Sorry, the best I, paid part. Out the, I paid out the believers by accident. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Pay attention, man. Oh, sorry. Dude, that's... Oh, they're going to riot. They're going to riot right now. What, what are they going to do? That's what Twitch gonna... needs to add a rollback to it, man. No, it has the option to ask if you're sure, man. They should still have a rollback. Just read the damn text. Oh, shit, I never did my prediction. Riot! Riot in Apollo's chat! My mods are asking me why I didn't know. You can rear a mod, you can do slash prediction, man. It's like two buttons. I'm busy. I'm trying to keep up with this bald weirdo who can't do his own predictions right. I told you, man. I, my, my ride yesterday was so... It took so much of my glucose and my glycogen that my brain is like, is, is dying today. My brain is like, I don't have enough juice. Dude, Sorry, that's don't a, tell... That's a rare comment. Don't tell Steve this. There were like... 2% of my chat YouTube commenters fucking hate Steve. What the they were, hell? They were going off. They were like, who is this guy? This guy needs to learn how to tell a story. This guy is what? Who is this Zoomer in the call? Like, it's just, it, people were getting insane with he's, it, man. He's my age. I know, and he's funny. <laughs> Oh, it's a, but then, I was, then the same people are like, yo, oh, bring back the NLSS. Why? You need more people to bully? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what they want. You got them, dude. Fucking get them. He's saying it. He's finally saying it. I also, I mean, you haven't acknowledged it. Oh, well, you kind of acknowledged it because you were talking about Valerie yesterday. Steven's uh, joke about how um, when I said I don't buy beef jerky because it's too expensive, and he said, don't you have like 7,000 viewers? We went to the... We went to the United States of America. We stopped at the duty free because a little life hack for you. If you go through the duty free line, you get to skip really long 
lines at the border, you get to skip like, I don't know, 70% of the line. So I went through the duty free and I bought some beef jerky. I looked at that shit, it said $10 for a little thing of beef jerky. I heard, I heard his voice in my head. Don't you get like 7,000 viewers? And I bought that shit. And it was good. It was fine. But also I, I was like, holy shit, 10 bucks for that? I just ate it in like less than 15 minutes because the border wait was like two hours. I had nothing, I was so bored, I had the snack. I've yet to cross a land border before. I've only really? flown to Mexico. Yeah, the land border is way more stressful. Yeah. It just like, I mean, it's, it's actually less stressful because you're in your car instead of at the airport, but it's more stressful at the moment of meeting the border agent. Cause like, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I, I, I don't even know what to say about it, but I, I just don't believe that I'm gonna fly somewhere, and then when I go to customs, they're gonna be like, get your ass back on the plane. Like, that's too <laughs> much. Nah. And I'm not breaking the laws to begin with, but like, also, I don't believe that they're gonna be like, no, fly your ass back. Whereas at the car border, I feel like they could just be like, just turn around. Well, yeah, how do you think, how do you think Shibley feel, felt when he was flying here? That's a long flight back, man. That's why I think they wouldn't do it. Uh, maybe, I don't know. They're, they they don't care about other people. I This is kind of a segue, way, but like, are you ever scared at how like, there's just huge gaps in your memory from when you were a kid to the point where like, you literally can't remember anything of a certain situation? I swear to God, if we play Jinx again, I'm fucking gonna lose it. Um, because like, I, I was thinking about this Mexico trip, right? And I remember these like little bits and pieces of the trip. How old like, are you? I can remember. I don't remember. I have no idea. You could not even approximate your age. No, I must have been like eight, maybe. I I don't okay. know. I, I really don't remember. If my mom was in chess, she would fucking remember. But um, I wasn't that young, but I wasn't that old either. So it's just, that's the best guess I can give. Um, that being said, the one thing I literally cannot even remotely remember is the plane ride. Like, it's like it didn't happen. It's not that, like, I don't, you know, remember it kind of. I literally is just a fucking empty void. Like, I don't remember getting on or off the plane, the airports. I remember going to the hotel. Like, it's kind of scary. I don't like that there's that big hole. Your ass was hammered. Yeah, dude. Maybe Definitely. that I was on some drugs or shit because I didn't like flying. Well, no, that was before 9-11, so I wasn't scared of flying yet. Did you know that 9-11 made me scared of flying? <laughs> like, uh, no, I did not. I was, I was wondering if I was going to address that. And uh... Well, think of it, because I'm like a kid, right? And yeah. like flying for me is like, oh, dude, this is like the safest shit ever. But then you literally watch a plane explode on TV. You're like, oh, that's like an image that's never going to leave your mind ever again. <laughs> Right, yeah. And every time I got on a plane, I was a kid, I was like, this thing could fucking it crash into a building and explode. It is true. And then true. it just turned into like a, you know, intrinsic fear that I can't, you know, irrationally like address. Here's the thing. I'm not scared of it because if I was on that plane, you know that shit wouldn't have gone down <laughs> like that. I would have punched my own ticket. That, yes, I would have punched my own ticket. <laughs> I would have gotten on the PA and said, later, everybody, I'm See fucking out of here. here. This shit. Open the airlock. See you soon. See, I was like scared of flying because, I mean, at the worst period for like commercial air travel outside of like, you know, the 1900s, I guess, when they, <laughs> the shit was like really bad. It's like the 70s and 80s, there was like a, a major plane crash like once a month. And then the Ooh. 90s, there was like, they still crashed every once in a while. You'd like wake up and turn on the news and it would be like, oh, like a, a North American passenger flight went down. Then like, Literally, there has not been uh, like a, a catastrophic plane crash from a major North American carrier since like 2010. Is that it's oh. been something like 12 years? I'm not saying it, it can't happen again, but the risk has like never been lower. Oh, yeah, it's super low. I just, uh, again, it's an irrational fear. I don't, oh, of course, yeah. You know, I can get on, I like, I can still get on the plane and fly, but the second the plane has a single bit of turbulence and like drops out like three oh, feet, yeah. I'm saying my goodbyes, like emotionally. But that's why I, when I was talking about it with Ludwig, I was like, I don't know Aren't about you, you cool? man, but well, no, I guess he, well, they, <laughs> no, it's no. A, do it. well, I was talking, we were talking about flying on Mr. Beast's private jet, and uh, <laughs> I was like, did you think about the troubling stats about uh, private plane and chartered plane crashes versus commercial flights? Like, I think I would rather just... Yeah, dude, I'm, you're not getting me on a private plane. No, okay, absolutely who, who's it not. Is? You never know, they might just be like, you know, hey, fuck it, let Mr. Beast fly it for 10 minutes or something like that. I don't know how, I don't know how the rules work on that stuff. There was that, uh, wasn't that one private plane, this was like six or seven years ago or something, that just 
kept flying like the, the, like everyone like either suffocated or froze to death in the plane and it just kept flying for an extra like two hours until it that, ran out of gas and crashed that actually also happened like last weekend in um, oh in in europe i think well yeah it was like but it was it was not like a passenger plane like a commercial passenger plane it was like a five-seater or something like that and it's just like, you know, they suffered some kind of like air leak. So the cabin depressurized. And when the cabin depressurizes, you pass out in like, I don't know, like 20 seconds or something like that. But honestly, not the worst way to die in a plane Probably crash. Probably the best way to die in a yeah. plane crash. If I'm going down in a plane crash, you know, I'm going to just not put the oxygen mask on. <laughs> you, you can't get me. I'm, I'm not muzzling my... I'm dead, by the way. Oh, all right, we're out. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, you died too? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Here, here. Okay, this one, I, I'm going to make up for it. I'm not even, like, worried about it. I'm a little worried about, like, you, but... <laughs> but I'm also Dude. probably... Oh, okay, that I, was crazy. Okay, never mind. I went crazy on the last one. I went all crazy. Right, all right, all right. I mean, these guys are still on the second one. We were, There was no risk. And they got the same skin and everything. Th these guys are still on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't feel bad anymore. Oh. I mean, I do feel a little bad. I got like all the first four all wrong. Oh, man. What are they doing? What? It's what upside down! <laughs> 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 Bro, uh, you got the whole. It gave premise. them a timer, it's gonna kick them out. You got the whole premise of the game back. They're looking at it, they're staring at it like, what did we do wrong? Oh, Wait, what did we do? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, bro, you have to like this. <laughs> oh man, they got it set up like they're trying to like lift it and then push it up Dude, against the key. Dude, they're just looking at it. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, that's the funniest fucking thing. Ooh. Oh. Got to wait for those. You know, you know what, you know what I've just realized is they've made another. Thin ice where you have to wait a really long time for the game to yeah. actually become challenging. Or we could just fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Okay, okay, he's got. Oh! Bro, the walls are coming in! Oh! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop fucking around. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm getting scared. This is stressful now. Oh, they chilled. It's just three of us. I got them. I'm just holding them. <laughs> dude, you're so smart. You're so smart. That's so good. <laughs> Game winning play. What, what are you, I mean, what is he supposed to do? There's nothing he could do. Nah, you got him. I it's, think the squares came back slower too. It did look like that. I, I, the heart rate rose a little bit for sure. All right, all right, all right. I see you, hexaterrestrial. Definitely better than thin ice. Yes. It is funny, like, cause, so Kate has a, she has a university degree in performance of oboe, right? She has a bachelor's right. in music. It's actually intense, at, le at least depending on the instrument. Um, like, it's intense, but, and she, she won't take offense to this because we talk about it all the time. It has to have, like, the worst composite value for, like, the amount of work it takes to get the degree versus your economic prospects after you get the degree. Oh, yeah. Because like, you get a degree in music, you're qualified to um, be in an orchestra, essentially, and every city has like one professional orchestra. If you play the oboe, there's two oboe spots. If you play like a trombone, there might be like three trombone spots. And then... Yeah. So that's being like a piano player. There's only one of those. And then you're not even there half the time as well. Yeah. Like you're <laughs> and then so all they usually just end up like supplementing if they even get they, a lot of they graduate from like a great school. And then you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to be in the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra, right? Or the, uh, any of the professional orchestras in Vancouver. You get like a, an email from Prince George 
that is like eight hours north of Vancouver where eight people live and they're like, hey, do you want to be part of our orchestra up here? Um, we'll pay you, we'll pay for your hotel room. You got to get your own travel up here and we'll pay you the equivalent of like $7 an hour to play in our performance. So you, you pay your dues in the damn minor leagues for like 20 years and then maybe a spot comes up uh, later and then you hold that shit until you die. You ne you never do anything to jeopardize your your positioning at all. That it's like it's miserable. like tenure, but like anti tenure. It really it does feel like being like a minor league athlete. You that's why I got the utmost respect for. I'm like, riding the yeah, ball. <laughs> for like professional musicians is because you really actually have to love it. Like nobody's like oh I'm getting you know what I'm gonna do for the money I'm gonna get a degree in playing the flute. Yeah that's that's. I wanted to go like to music school like when I was like 24 and I was like that's just the, the worst that's it's just financially a disaster you know yes it's just not something I can do and we were looking because originally Kate was like gonna do her masters in the US she was gonna go to like you know the San Francisco Conservatory of Music or like the, a school in Boston that I can't remember the name of we were like pricing out the oh. <sighs> <laughs> we were pricing out how much the master's degree was going to cost, and I'm like, I don't know if this seems like it's worth $300,000. <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's expensive. The, the people who should be on your side uh, are actually taking advantage of you. So, like, Kate would get emails, and she still does, or, or voicemails, that are like, Hey, I got your um, contact information from your old oboe teacher. We're having, like, a garden party this weekend. And uh, we were hoping that you would join like the quartet that's gonna play music for us. We're not gonna pay, but you can help yourself to some hors d'oeuvres. And you're like, shouldn't you be the, shouldn't you be the ones, it's not like there's a, such a bevy of paying customers for on-demand classical music out there that it's like, oh, I'm just giving it away. You know, it's like, you gotta, you gotta pay. And, 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 and oh, also you have to drive to our place. It's gonna be four hours long. You're gonna play a bunch of music you haven't practiced with uh, three strangers, four strangers. Like it's, there's music a lot of exploitation a, the, in the music industry, man. It's a nightmare business. There's just, yeah, there's too many, too many musicians, not a lot of music spots. That's why, you know, you get your music degree and then you start making YouTube videos and you hope to get lucky. Like, yeah, a lot of... do some, do some uh, Undertale piano covers on YouTube. Or just replace your stringed instruments with a, with as many different metal strings as you possibly can. Yeah, guitar with uh, gold strings sounds <laughs> heavenly. <laughs> you won't believe how these uh, nylon strings sound on an electric guitar. Does he know what he's streaming? <laughs> I mean, strumming. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, I get you. I get you. Or derves has to be one of the dumbest spelled words of all time, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. That might be the most letters for the least syllables, like, per letter. Maybe it makes sense in French. Maybe in French they're like, oh, it's just like it sounds. <laughs> or doers. <laughs> like, if I were to say it, I would say, yeah, horse do Everest. Yes. I would, I, and I, I couldn't blame you, honestly. Yeah. But then again, I mean, English ain't much better, dude. Yep, also bad. I mean, that that's a word that we should have just, like translated when we added it to the dictionary or a phrase i guess it should not be called hors d'oeuvres anymore it should be called like a little little bites little foods yeah little bites. Like that. that's a rick and morty bit though you might be careful little little you can't call them little bites marty <laughs> um what uh, <laughs> cable scene sorry sorry um apparently the show's still pretty good i just it's you know, it's the it, you know what it's become. Well, it's the perception of it that has really done it a disservice as well. Because oh, like, yeah. you, you can't just be like, "Oh, now I'm gonna get into Rick and Morty." People will like look at you. Yeah, I think it's one of the few shows I legit. One of the few things I've stopped consuming just because of other people's opinions of it, even though I still liked it. It's like I don't know if I can uh, respect myself if I watch this anymore. Watched a few episodes of it and was like. Like this is pre Pickle Rick, and I was like, this show's pretty funny. Then Pickle Rick happened, and I was like, worst show on television. <laughs> Without having seen the episode, I completely flip flopped to find myself on the side of the majority. Well, you see, the episode was uh, how he turned himself into a pickle because he didn't want to go to his uh, family therapy meeting. Ah, uh, okay, but and he was, was just lashing out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then he goes to the therapy scene as a pickle, and it's like you know, very serious. But he's a pickle, and mm. that's kind of the you know, it's like a. 
Yeah, it's, it's not that funny. You can't judge it. Like, it's, it, like that's the thing. You can't... No one's coming out with a, an honest review of the Pickle Rick episode. Nah. That's like, imagine if Kevin Spacey was in a movie now, but it was actually, like, fucking good. <laughs> you're gonna be the guy who's like, I know what you're gonna <laughs> say, but I'm yeah. telling you that new Kevin Spacey movie is actually, like, in my top ten <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> You're not gonna. You're gonna be like, I'm not seeing that shit. Do you think if we make uh, fun of Kevin Spacey enough, he'll kill us too? Nah, I don't think so. Cause I'm. Uh, I was gonna I'm say lucky. one of his biggest fans, <laughs> but that's not what I meant. But I was. Uh, I I've long been saying he did some messed up stuff, but I don't believe he killed those people. I sim but really though. I simply. I actually think it's more likely that like four people all related to the case died coincidentally in the same two year period. I think Un that's- Under the same circumstances. Yes, I, I think that's actually bizarrely more likely than him having them killed. I don't know if statistically that's really It's true. a hard thing to measure. <laughs> I don't know if we could just pop it into, into Excel, but I also think that OJ did not do that shit. He was acquitted. Plus he's so funny on Twitter. Is this a, the express opinion of, uh, of, uh, twitch.tv slash No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. Huh, Hollywood actors. Why would Hollywood actors murder? They already have a great life. Hollywood actors don't, they yeah, don't commit why, why, why murder except for- NBA players tweet about Alex Smith. Uh, stuff, Alex Smith, know. what the hell? He went first overall in 2005 to the oh, 49ers. Shit. Alex. Now you're talking, man. now you're speaking my language. Wait, what the fuck? What's his name again? I forgot. Maybe it's a good thing. You're Maybe talking about Alex Jones. Oh, Dan, sorry. Oh, I wanted yeah. to forget. I wanted to be oblivious. Did you know that that's who um, Mr. Jones and me is about? Oh, I had a feeling. That's why I don't listen to that shit anymore. Yeah. Makes me want to throw up. I'll be honest. Like, look, I, I, I feel like DoorDash drivers are the group of people that are like, the most screwed over by their employing company, and also the group that I most shit talk. Um, it's got to be pretty out of high, all yeah. workers. Um, I think if you are a DoorDash driver, uh, you should be absolutely banned from smoking in your car. There's, yeah, okay, just, that makes a lot of sense to me. I, the last two DoorDash deliveries I've gotten, I've like opened the bag and it literally, the bag went <laughs> and like <laughs> cigarette smoke poofed out of it. And I, it's, it's nauseating. Like that's my food, man. Maybe the food was smoking. Mm, it was an acai bowl. You got an acai bowl? Oh, well then definitely not. Well, it could have <laughs> been smoking weed. <laughs> it was not weed, man. No, it like, dude. NL will never play a trombone Ages simulator after. on stream. Cereal, so this is Trombone so Champ. It just came out on Steam. You got to learn how to play the trombone to become the Brave champion of trombones. One day you will stand before two baboons. Can you believe Amazon spent 1.2 billion dollars on this? I haven't even seen the gameplay yet. I'm just going to say that they should turn this into a BR. I think it would just fit. Okay. I choose play to play the main game. And choose your tromboner. I, mean, I would say that's me right there. I'll use the brass. I'll use the trombone. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. Oh no, it's so hard. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Why aren't you singing the words? Because it's a lot to focus on, okay? We gotta, like, just relax, okay? <laughs> Two, three, 
strikes, you're out at the old ball game. What is this karaoke screen in the background? <laughs> oh no. I need to change my DPI to play this. How was that, Chad? Was that good? You ready? I'm ready. 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 a little too much sauce. This is the big one. <laughs> relax, relax. No farting, please. Three hundred and three toots. At least I know how the song goes. This isn't what I was expecting. I nailed the most important part. It keeps going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just relax. There's two different parts in the orchestra. This shit never ends, man. Most important note. We got the most important note. That should be the damn national anthem. That is not a C. Let's be reasonable. You're a disaster, my guy. It's hard, okay? Hold on, let me spend some damn coins. I'll take three sacks. Beautiful. This is Bill Watrous. Rip to a legend. This is the trombone slide. It's a 33 mana cost. I don't know if I can afford that. That's what Roswell Rudd. He could eat 900 hot dogs per nanosecond. Rip to a legend. Max Tundra. This is the developer of the game, I'm assuming. <laughs> you got Rudd? We got J.J. Johnson. We got Red Eyes, Black Baboon, one of the most powerful tromboner cards. Holy cow. I think that's a mythic. Treble Clef, that's land. And a mouse piece, it's another land card. Jack Tea Garden. Can't be a real name. Trazom! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, immortal guardian spirit tasked with preserving the order of base and treble clefts as a guardian spirit unable to eat hot dogs but imbued with the power of at least 10 from 1791 till infinity. This is how we chill from 91 till. Do I dupes already? I mean, the trazom is a chase rare. Don't get me wrong. See, <laughs> though, you gluck. Come on. I'm one shy of getting another sack. I'm one too shy of a sack. Why is it so staccato? <laughs> it's so soulful. It sounds better. Let me give you a song we've never played anyone else before, okay? This is The Entertainer by Scott Joplin. I've been practicing this uh, in the evenings for six months to play at our wedding anniversary, my wife and mine. I'm ready. I think I'm really gonna impress her, okay? Ready? <laughs> what, it's not good? We ended it nice, we started it nasty, ended it nice. Here you go. Hey Raiders, you might be familiar with this. We're just gonna buy uh, two sacks real quick. Let's see what we get. That's Johann Sebastian Bach. He's a planeswalker. That's Beethoven. Two planeswalkers, one pack. That's actually, this is an insane pack. Melba Liston invented the toast. And Mozart, dude! We got Mozart and Trazum. That's an insane pack. Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven in the same pack. Hey, don't sleep on uh, Tommy Dorsey. Richard Strauss. Another famous composer. <laughs> Rainbow Diamond Trombone. Rimsky Korsakov. I forget what he composed. Did he compose Sherazad? Yes, he did. That's a classic. He's immutable, too. Love that. Love that for me. Okay, put me back in here. You can you buy a trombone for like 300 bucks if you're in 10th grade? Why does this sound like a billboard number one from 
Is this 303? Not bad, not bad. Whoa! We're still going? Oh, okay. I was so dialed. I was biting my lips. Solid A rank. We'll take that. Track select me. Goes kind of hard, huh? Ina Kleine knocked music. Okay. How does this one go? All classical music sounds like the same in my head until I hear the first note. And then I'm like, ice cream commercial, car commercial, movie, cartoon. I can get some sax. Give me five. Give me four sax. How do you earn turds? Sorry, remind me tomorrow, Windows. Okay. A lot of dupes in here. Glenn Miller, that's a Chase Rare, though. Bach, Rimsky Korsakov, Roswell Rudd, uh, Rainbow Diamond Edition. Babi, this ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamadryas baboon, whose name translates to Bull of the Baboons, was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone game. Brass. We got some Roswell. Mazorgsky. Well known for a night on Bald Mountain, uh, and yet I've never met him, much less let him stay in my home. Schubert, that's a classic. Also, is, is it just me? Or is, dude, is that Cobalt? Is angry, if Cobalt Streak was alive in 1797, that's Cobalt right there. Strauss II? Mozart? Blue eyes, white baboon. Dude, we also got, uh, we got the red eyes, dark baboon, too. We got the whole set. Oh, my God. We still got more, too. We gotta, there's, aren't there 500 cards or 50? I can't remember. He brought me back just when I thought I was out. That was horrendous. That was horrible.
That was nothing about that went well. What the hell is Gladiators by Julius Fuck? This has become one of the most widely known pieces of circus music. Please tell me it's not. Oh shit. That song's hard. That's a hard one. I think a B is like, that's pretty merciful. Save me, save me, save me. No, no, not again! This shit is too fucking fast. <laughs> it's too fast. Do they can they add some slower songs, please? I don't mean it's scrolling too fast. I mean the song is too fast. They need to they need to slow it down. Beethoven's fifth. This is, this should be an easy one. That's not so bad, that's not so bad. That's not very generous. Where I some of those were hits. Honestly, thought we were doing some okay stuff. I I know the the notes don't look right, but I, the sound was kind of close to it at that time. 172 nasties. Well, when it goes, D -d 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 I, like okay, someone actually gave me a great tip. They said, for the love of God, hold the click instead of clicking each note, my man. Wait a minute, you can just run the notes together, and the game doesn't care as long as your breath doesn't run out. What the hell? Well, run me back on O Canada. Let's practice this new tech. I thought you had to, you had to you go. Huh? 
<laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not on the big notes. It's not doing shit for my meter. But hold on, you're destroying my meter every time. It breaks your combo. Why the hell would I do that then? I'm trying to get perfect scores. I've heard national anthems worse at sporting events than that. That that was oh! <laughs> S rank. Give me a sack. All dupes. Let me get five sacks. Burp, 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 burp. Tchaikovsky, that's a new one. Bass clef, I think that might be a new one. Burp, 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 burp. Trumpet, it's a new one. Rachmaninoff, that's a classic. We got a lot of Max Tundras. We can put four Max Tundras in our deck. We got a full play set. Gustav Holst, composer of the planets. Holy cow, I got a lot of them. That's a new one. Another, another Cobalt Street card. Polidoro da Carvaggio. He's a painter. Okay. Well, honestly, I think we're kind of kind of played out on uh, trombone champ for now. Maybe this is the kind of game you practice for like um, a weekend, and then you come back and you blow chat away. You come back and you you play uh, Stars and Stripes, and you just nail it. Maybe it's the kind of thing you tell chat you're gonna do, and then you don't do it. But how funny would it be if you did it? And bring me back. We're going to play some Rumbleverse. That was fun, though. I, had, I honestly had a great time. I do also, I feel very humbled as well. Hi, honey. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. You should play in the sandbox with mommy. She's, She's like, what the heck? There's a daddy inside this office? Hi. Hello. I like your turtle. I like your turtle. Yeah, there it is. Here, you know what I can do? I can at least open the blinds a little bit. Just one, one moment. That's Tomo's house. Yeah. Kind of screws up my lighting a little bit. <laughs> Holy cow. I don't feel right, man. Do you shoe shine your head? No, I'm just white, okay? I'm, I, I'm pale, it's sunny, it's coming in all, like it's r right on my freaking, like right, right here. Oh crap. Have you been playing this all day? No, nope, like not at all. I've been playing for less than an hour. What have you been doing all day? Is your sink as devoid of dirty dishes as mine is? 
Did you uh, do two 15-minute Peloton lane break rides, including going back to the uh, Asian American Pacific Islander month ride with Japanese breakfast, uh, Mitsuki, and um, Rina Sawayama, and um, whoever the hell sings that song, Indigo, that's also pretty good. No, I have a real job. Okay, that's honestly you just homered me. You homered my um, my Kirk Van Houten. I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Hey, I used to watch YouTube videos. Now I came into the stream for the first time in a year. The Peloton's paying off. Thank you. I did. I, I did used to be uh, fatter. It's definitely true. I describe myself as less fat, and with much stronger legs. Like the legs are popping. Little balder? Not really. Dude, you used to be so fat looking good now, though. Look, whether or not it's true, you shouldn't say it. On the, who are you, my mom? My mom wouldn't even say that. She would just say something like, mm, have you worked out lately? And be like, you know, I already know the answer. And I already know that you know the answer. My mom only tells me when I've gotten fatter. You know what's messed up? Did I even... I ran it, okay. When I, uh... When I was running a lot, like 10 years ago, I got pretty skinny. And my mom was on my ass for being like too skinny when I was like 5'10", 175 pounds. She, she would say things like, you look like you've lost too much weight. She was like concerned that I was sick when I... So I think my mom thinks that when I'm healthy, I'm skinny. When I'm chubby, I'm healthy. And when I'm fat, I'm chubby. Which maybe is like, maybe that's a good thing for a mom to have. Like, she's got some, like, rose-colored glasses. She's got mom goggles. See ya? No, I won't see you. <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. Dude, these are some hot-ass lobbies today. We're in the, we're in the super auto pet zone. 88 wins! Killed by the great King Gini. It's Friday. People have the day off. Why would people have the day off on a day on? No, no adult that works a nine to five job. Well, this is gatekeeping. Do something else with your day off. Don't be like, oh, I got a day off. I'm gonna go play Rumbleverse. That's crazy. Go, go to the park or something. Go, go get a nice brunch. Go out to get some like. Organic vitamin D on your skin. I pro it, it's it's been as soon as this is done, I'm eating the sandwich. I'm going out. I'm getting some organic vitamin D. I'm miserable right now. I'm just getting, simulating getting punched in the face over and over. Super easy take for a streamer. What are you talking about? What other streamer on earth is like? You know what I love? Going outside. Half the streamers on this website would have if they had to go in person to get their car insurance renewed, their ass would be driving uninsured. You're talking to the most, or you're talking at the most normal streamer on this website. Maybe like second, second most normal. That, I don't even know who would be first, but by saying second, I at least give myself the ability. People are like, I know who he's talking about. And they can all think of someone different. Mouth? I might not be a more normal guy than Mouth, but I definitely have a more normal life now. Mouth is, uh, he's based in, in Garden Pilt, which is cool, but he is talking about his peppers a lot. Okay, you, you can't tell me there's not some kind of... Wait, this, this is Joe. Joe. Joe, I'm just... Just chill out for a second, okay, brother? I was in the middle of fighting somebody else. And now look, look at all the fucking loot that they're getting. Because of this situation. That That is... I actually slightly BM. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. To, to come in... Oh my god, I almost died to poison. To come in and uh, and only target one of the two people like in the engagement because they're the streamer, that's a little bit unfair in my opinion. Although I guess from your perspective, you might be like, oh, if I come in there and I start kicking the shit out of the other guy... Then that's like I'm helping the streamer and I might get banned. Joe says it's not him. Oh, okay, never mind then. Always forgiven. I wanna see the logs though. I wanna I wanna I wanna see you in the final circle. Just to confirm.
Because if I was doing that shit and the streamer started talking shit, I'd be like, oh, that wasn't me. No, that was uh, my brother's on my Xbox right now. He's watching audio only. Okay, I asked my wife if she was ready to stream. She said, I am KO'd. She should play, um, she should play Trombone Champ. Now, that was a game. She's busy playing Soul Hackers. I don't even know, like, half of the games that my wife plays. Sometimes, like, an Amazon package just arrives in the mail, and it's like, I open it up, and it's like, name, 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 colon, name, name, and then the thing that throws me for a loop, nine. It's crazy. I'm like, they made nine of these? How, you go to how long to beat, you type in the name, 735 hours for the speed run. Really? It's 2 p.m. Do you know what your wife is playing? I'm going to give you a plus two on that one. Plus two. Northern Lions hot take on the shit camp drama. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? You got to be really deep in live stream fails to... <laughs> To know what the hell's going on. NL's reaction to NL reacting to, to this, to that, to this, to that. I don't get it, but I'm pogging. Dude, trombone champ was fun, man. How do you control the trombone? Use your mouth. I mean your mouse. <laughs> well, I guess technically they're both correct. It is, for some reason, every time I go to Twitch, Twitch has been a little broken for me lately. Instead of um, personalized recommendations... They do live channels we think you'll like, but it's just the biggest channels on the platform. So it's just a bunch of like, like Spanish Minecraft streams. Every time I, I go to the Twitch homepage, I'm like, did I get hacked by like someone from Chile? Why, why, are all, why is the whole front page in Spanish? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and how's a tier three e eBay Subscriber? Well, that's, that's one of the ones on the front page right now. You don't even know. Oh, the air tracking. Oh, awesome Get his ass. Stay on his ass. That's tough. I mean, when you got an aggressive player coming after you, and they're, they're throwing, like, move after move on you, when they got javelin tackle, like, it's... You just got to feel for them a little bit there. It's, it's a hard situation to get out of. Could use some more juice still. Or do we need more juice? Maybe we just need one of these? Okay, good, good move. Yeah, well, take one of those then. I'm going to put this in my pocket. Good, good tracking. I appreciate that. Excuse me, I was trying to stop the person who was annoying us all. Splat him. Just a Cosmo shot. Sight red. They, they, sorry, soul red. Soul red me. Let's go. We take those. Let's get to safety. Shouldn't. That's not the right... That's not the right punishment there. That's the right punishment. How about one of these? I thought maybe Bombastic might allow you to wall splat again. Clearly, it does not work that way. That's okay. We can Bombastic. Okay, fair enough. You, you interrupted my muscle memory, though. I'm not letting you meditate up here. So, like, it's... If you want to stay over there, that's fine. I'm not sleeping or anything. I'm just... <laughs> well, well, well. Watch this. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch! What?! I deserve that one. <laughs> I got white people happy, man. Oh man. Can you feel it? It's like a hot desert wind. Get your ass to Mars. 
He's trying to... Yeah, yeah, good job. Me too. Okay, hold on. We can win this one. Bro, you gotta give me something that's not just an Irish whip. Otherwise, get your ass to Mars. Hello. What do you got? I assumed it would be dolphin dive. I was getting ready for a dolphin. You can just put that shit in your pocket. I'm not that... I'm not that pressed about a single juice. Get your ass to Mars. Well, at the end of the day, there wasn't that much stuff up here. By the time everybody had their pick of the damn litter. Hi, honey. By the way, I'm going to need you to get your ass to Mars. Let me know how Mars treats you. He just dropped. He knew. He knew. I mean, there's better loot, like, below. Yeah, he almost got a free trip to Mars. I don't see why he's being such a hater. Hello. How's Mars? Okay, we need someone who doesn't know it's coming. Like you right here. That's not going to make it. Or is it 55 damage? It, just like I drew it up. Cheesy little elbow drop. Good one. I mean, this is where we want to be. Worth. Thank you for not hitting me with a giant swing. Get him! Get his ass! Get him over! Oh! I'm dead. Good uppercut. Should have worried about my own positioning for sure. Okay, we can close. We can close these up. Your ass is lucky. I had to watch that one. I think I want to elbow drop. Right here. Oh! That that whiff hurt. No healing perks! Oh, Jesus! Help. I'm, yep, jav that's not javelin. Maybe it is. It did 952 damage. <laughs> Jesus. Let me see your juices. What do you add on juice? Eight! Okay, that's a lot. People, they've been building a false narrative, by the way. They've been saying NL doesn't like red juice. Red is my favorite juice. It's just like, it's the hardest one to come by. Where did we finish? 13th. 13th. Because people slurp it up, like, instantly. I also think it is the lowest spawn rate. What if you use 10? Well, then you get, like, a lot of kills, and you get killed by, like, a, a super later in the game. You gotta loot more? Okay, why don't you go play Cookie Clicker? If you, if you love uh, just clicking your mouse so much to, to see a number go up, go ahead, play some cookie clicker. This is for games, uh, this is a game for people who actually enjoy having fun. I share your frustration, that probably should not have hit you. You're not leaving. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> Red juice. Guaranteed. This is a prime elbow drop location. I should be a little careful. I almost have to go 10 0 right? Just like for the meme. It's not like we... Like last time we had like six reds and I died to a super in one hit anyway. I was only on like 80% of my HP, but still. <laughs> Fair. Once you have a chair, you don't have to worry about anything anymore except for getting hit by this. I'm so happy I'm not dead. <laughs> I 
I would like to leave now. Oh no. I might have to get him off of me. He's stamina broken. Get me out. No! 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 He came back! What an ass? He's not an ass, he's just playing the game, but like, it is annoying. If you really dope, why ain't, why ain't you signed yet? You know? You think you're so good at Rumbleverse? Call me when you're on Gen G. David Lang. I'm sorry to use your full name. You need to nerf weapons. We had too many skinny boys running around with a pocket full of weapons. Okay, one of these. One of these. Oh, I'm drinking. Just kidding. I'm hitting you in the damn. Okay, that was not smart. That was not a smart way to handle that. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> kind of threw me for a loop on that one. <laughs> 